to the Hacienda, Revit here. Today we have another fine installment, another beautiful Italian recipe, straight out of Stanley Tucci's book, Taste, My Life Through Food. Mrs. Rivet gave me that book for Valentine's Day, and I've already made uh, spaghetti alla Nerano, or Nerano. Uh, which was delicious and uh, while reading this book I ran across another recipe that I had to make uh, spaghetti alla carbonara and that's what we're making today now the reason why is because I've eaten spaghetti alla carbonara many times in my life and I've disliked it every time why because they use bacon and bacon in spaghetti in such a simple dish reminds me of breakfast plus it's loaded with cream and butter and it's just a mess and it's not how it's made in Italy Stanley describes a proper way of cooking it and making it the authentic way and I thought I have got to do this uh, instead of bacon we've got giancale, giancale which is uh, pork cheek in Italy we don't call it giancale here in the States we call it jowl so I picked some up at the store, uh, very meaty and nice. So there you go. We got some Parmesan, we got some Romano, coarse ground black pepper, and spaghetti. That's it. I'm going to show you how you make your own creamy sauce without milk, without butter, without cream. Now we want to slice up this delicious jowl into some very good pieces. You see how streaky and beautiful that is? Oh, this is the crowning achievement of this recipe. We want to remove the rind like so uh, because that's not really going to cook in very much and uh, we'll use that. I forgot to show at the beginning that we're also going to need four egg yolks and to that we're going to add about two ounces of grated Romano, okay? and uh, we're gonna make it into a nice little paste like this and if it seems a little thick no worries that's fine alright in a skillet notice there's no oil no butter um, we're gonna take about a generous cup of this jowl um, and we're gonna fry it up and we want it to render out its fat now that uh, this is all nice and crispy we're gonna turn it on down to low and we're going to start cooking the spaghetti. All right, the pasta is ready, and this has been on low. This is just gorgeous, smells delicious. So now, what we're going to do is add the pasta. See if we can do this without making a complete mess. Okay. All right, and to this, we want to add a ladle or two of the pasta water. And uh, this is going to help create that beautiful sauce. Now remember that egg? Okay, we're going to just add it in here. And the residual heat from the water and the uh, fat is going to create this sauce. Now we want, once it's here, we want to just keep stirring and stirring and stirring and get it all nicely emulsified. And you see how that creaminess is developing? That's exactly what we want. And that, my friends, is the creaminess that Stanley Tucci talked about that has come about without using milk or cream or butter. This is the authentic Italian uh, spaghetti alla carbonara. So let's go ahead and finish uh, stirring this up, cooking it a little bit longer letting some of that water evaporate then we'll plate it up and let me tell you folks this smells gorgeous look at that beauty see that cream oh oh my goodness this now as they used to say in the commercial now that's Italian and there's a plate of that steaming goodness of the pasta but now let's show you that creaminess oh my goodness and the meat Yes, carbonara. Look at that. But that's not all, folks. Nope. We need plenty of grated black pepper. That is the signature of the dish. Be generous with that. And we're going to need some Parmesan. 
on the top. So we got the microplane here and let's go ahead and put some fresh Parmesan on there and get that real Italian goodness going on. Jeez, my hand fell off. Alright, don't worry kids, I'm a trained professional. You can try this at home, but be careful. Alright, so let's try this and see if it's as good as Stanley Tucci says and all those videos that I watched on YouTube to educate me on how to make it properly. So, mmm. Oh, smells delicious. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, yes. That pork jowl. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that creaminess. The cheese. Yes. Oh, I have some extra Romano here. I'm going to mix on there with the Parmesan as well. Oh, my goodness. That is really, really good, people. I highly recommend using pancetta or pork gel. Forget the bacon. It's not worth making it. You saw the creaminess. Look at that. Underneath all that pasta. This is a real deal. Thanks for watching.